Take a lie, lie from a place where nobody else know they take it. They hand up, they want us to split the pie, pie, right? Cause they realize that we gone crazy. Yeah. I flip my pie, really did that one, made it. Yeah. I flip my pie, really did that one, made it. Yeah. Hey, make sure you land the fast Bruno too. I'm trying to go catch this flight again with the blue. Yours truly, Young Ball. I only hit you when I want some. Fucked up till you realize all I wanted was you. You only hit me when you fucked up. Love drunk cause you realize all I wanted was you. I only hit you when I want some. Fucked up till you realize all I wanted was you. You only hit me when you fucked up. Love drunk cause you realize all I wanted was you. I be like, baby, don't do that. You press my buttons, you know better. Depending on where my mood at. What's so fucked up? I just might let her. We done weathered.
Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to the show. It is Wednesday's Delayed Workout and I am looking forward to this one because Wednesday is a nice lighter workout in this phase at the best of times, but doing a deload week, whoo, it's going to be nice and easy. So, let's get ready to rumble. Here we go, tribe. All right, we're on. Good morning, tribe. Hope you are all well and fighting fit today. Session three of Deload Week. Hump day, almost bringing it up to a wrap. I hope everyone's keen and excited for phase seven. Um, in front of you on the camera, you have Rajan Burmeister, the man of the hour. Uh, for the next hour, uh, we'll be next to me, socially distanced, we have Yanni Burmeister, his brother, the brains behind the operation. I am Will, the gym manager here, and as always, we've got Richie the Rig behind the computer, mixing your workout up for today with your sweet tunes and producing it all. Hope you're all having a great morning. Good morning, Daljit. First off the rank. Morning, Daljit. Lars is tuning in, saying evening friends and foe. I'm not sure who the foe is. I'm sure it's the workout. Tuning in from Rio, Brazil. Felixion, good morning. Patricia Sturbys, Dave Clark, Andy Lawson, Martin Kelder, uh, Kudels. I don't think I've said your name properly ever. Martin. I think it's Kudels. Kudels, yeah. I think you guys sorry, are man. making a dog's breakfast of Marty's name. Yeah, sorry, Marty. Max Silver is in the house. Lucy Marsh Wakefield, good morning. Lucy, let us know if your partner Andy is also joining in. I hope so. Uh, Margot Sawyer, Lee Clark, Gemma Loughran, Katie McDonald, Roy Stern, Simon Morgan. We've got a big group on today. A lot of tribe members from the gym. This is fantastic. We're never afraid of uh, butchering a... Uh, a good name. A good name, are we? No. Absolutely not. Might intentionally try and butcher a few more. And good morning, Andy. He's watching on with Lucy as well, doing the workout. I'm sure you guys are enjoying this week. If it's uh, not making too much sense yet, um, this is deload week. So week four is deload week, uh, Andy and Lucy. Uh, we absolutely thrash ourselves, of course, with good technique week one two and three and uh, then we, our body needs a little bit of recovery where we dial the volume right back to about 40 percent of what we normally do so the intensity is still there we still train hard but uh, we only do two sets of the primary exercises and we only do one set of the supplementaries so our recovery time improves we feel a lot better by the end of the week and we're fresh and ready to go for a new phase and i tell you what guys I've been marvelling at how I've put on four kilos this last eight weeks. Um, I think I need a license for these guns, mate. Look at hey those yo. things. <laughs> Watch out. But, uh, and this last phase has been more of an intensification phase. So you guys wait if you really want to be making sure that you hit the ground running next week because it is going to be tough. And we're going to need to manage our load because there's going to be a lot of volume in each workout. And we're going back to having a real cardio component to it on, uh, on Tuesday and Friday. I was looking at doing something more in alignment with what I would like to do for myself, but I made the decision to go with what the tribe usually wants and the fact that we're all stuck, at least in Australia, we're stuck at home in lockdown and we really need some cardio. I've uh, had a couple of Unity Gym members tell me that they've put on a few kilos this lockdown, so this next uh, four weeks, starting on Monday, is going to be uh, like Tuesday and Friday are going to really get you going again, okay? And we're going to burn some calories. Woo. I might even get my shirt off for those workouts. It might be hot enough Ooh, by then. <laughs> give the people what they want. We've been in lockdown for a while. I haven't told Rad this, uh, but um, I've decided that this program phase phase seven the launch we're going to release it in conjunction with our nutrition program oh yeah to help everyone uh shred 
shred, shred for the end of uh, winter. We got uh, Kurt Dyer here. Morning, guys. Just so we didn't feel left out over here in New Zealand, we just went into lockdown. More time to focus on these superb home workouts and get into some masterclass action. It certainly oh, no. is, Kurt. Yeah, you're up. It certainly is. Your Prime Minister has got a finger on the pulse, doesn't she, man? She doesn't waste oh, time. Oh, Jacinta. Jacinda, yeah. She doesn't waste time. She doesn't waste time. Kurt, I'm sorry to hear you guys are going into a lockdown. I've yeah, got to say, though, to I've, that, I've spoken to a lot of people and they've spoken to me about how I'm dealing with this lockdown and I said exactly the same thing, that this lockdown has given me an opportunity to focus on some goals that I wouldn't be able to focus on um, outside of lockdown. So there's a silver lining to everything and obviously it's not ideal, but I'm certainly making the most of it and one of those ways is to absolutely jump headfirst into these at-home workouts. So good stuff, mate. Scott Rohan and Declan Lee are on the um, workout as well. Good morning, guys. Kurt, um, I, uh, I showed Will, Will being a ranger and having not seen him live, I showed him a little bit of uh, Reese Darby live the other day. I haven't yeah. seen him for a while. Jesus, he's funny. If anybody doesn't know who Reese Darby is, he's uh, a, a, a Kiwi, a New Zealand comedian. Uh, famous for being on Flight of the Concords as the gym manager. But uh, God, he's funny. <laughs> I was laughing a storm. Yeah, I've just uh, started re watching Flight of the Concords. Gee, that's a funny show. Oh, man, they're, they're so good, those guys. Guys, I want to uh, take this opportunity to remind you all to please uh, smash that like button as early as you possibly can in the stream. The earlier the better. It's gonna hack the algorithm and help us put this great workout in front of more amazing people around the world. And also, take a moment to use that little share button and share it to one of your favorite social media platforms. It goes a long way. You don't have to say too much. You can just say, you can just say how awesome it is or nothing at all. It doesn't really matter. And um, going yeah, on technical we issues. Will, uh, we will get more people fit and healthy in lockdown. All right. Also, big announcement. Today's the first day that in the comments section of this video, I'm going to put it in the comments. It's also in the description. We have an exclusive opportunity for our YouTube tribe and our Movement Mastermind tribe to get a lifetime discount on our UMS online coaching. Now remember, the UMS online coaching has two pathways. You get access to both with the subscri subscription, that is the home workouts and the gym workouts. So you never have to worry if you get flipped into lockdown again if, and lose access to your gym. You get both of them inclusive in the monthly subscription. Not even for that, it's for going away. It, even if you're, if you're not worried about going into lockdown again, one of the things that we get asked most commonly by our gym members or by people that are regular with us to say, I'm going away for two weeks for work, what should I do? This, this is what you should do. Works perfectly with the UMS, the gym training or the home training. The same. Yeah. Now before we get started, I've got a little fun fact for you. Um, a lot of people know of the famous uh, inventor Karl Marx. Not a lot of people know his younger sister, Anya, who actually invented the starter pistol. Anya <laughs> 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 Marx. Anya. Uh, Anya Marx. All right. What a classic. <laughs> Give us a capital N in the comments section if you didn't like that. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's top shelf comedy right top there. Top shelf comedy. I actually um, moonlight as a comedian outside of the gym, so. Sure does. Okay. Here we go. Um, sorry, I'm watching Yanni and Will and Richard try and work out some technical problems and it's winging me out seeing them. Yeah, we just have a play a, around a, behind the camera there. going on. We're trying to. Okay, fix. here we go, oh, tribe. Good. We are doing our. I've got to remind myself of the workout. We're doing our scapular push-up leans, then we're doing the downward frog, then the towel lat activation, <laughs> and then straddle ups or middle splits or whatever you want to do. What are you laughing at, Will? Lars has said, uh, that joke was awesome. Kurt Dyer said, love Reese Darby. You should check out his stand-up shows, Rad. Yeah, yeah, I have. his stuff is on YouTube. 
Lee Clark said, no wonder he needs an OnlyFans site as well, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, Kurt, I've seen Reese Darby live at the Opera House and I was laughing so hard I almost had to walk out, I couldn't breathe. He's brilliant. <laughs> right, here we go. Um, Kurt, I've seen Reese Darby live. How oh, good. I do love a really good shit dad joke. Alrighty, Tribe, we're into it. Not many opportunities today to really focus on these movements, so let's take that all in now. Remember, we are aiming for full protraction of the shoulder blades, and as we lean forward, that's where a lot of people lose the protraction. Pushing your upper back high into the roof, and as you're leaning forward, you can see Rad flicks over his toes. <coughs> Keep your upper back pushing up towards the roof. Try to push away from the ground as far as you can. Through the shoulder blades though, a lot of people do happen to pike oh. through the hips in that movement. We want to keep the hips and the shoulders level. Oh. Got 35 on the live stream, 26 likes, we're going alright, getting started. Next I know you bit. can do more. Yeah, squeeze your knees into the ground hard to fatigue your adductors and relax. And now tense your glutes, trying to pull your knees apart and pull your groin into the ground. Relax. And again, tensing the adductors. Hey, yeah. Relax. I think we might need to rename this the Max. Mm. Yeah. The Max the Silver. Max Silver. <laughs> the Max Silver. <laughs> it's only a Max Silver if you look at the camera though, with like a weird, yeah. like yeah. cheeky smile. The Max Ooh. Silver. Little peer back over the shoulder. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Delicious. <sighs> there was a great meme I saw the other day where they were naming the lockdown haircuts. And they were basically these six versions of haircuts that men could give to themselves. Yeah. At home. <laughs> there were some pretty funny ones. We'll have to share that to our Instagram account, which I'm sure you guys are all following because you've all been listening to our okay, here um, we go. competition coming up on Instagram. We are giving away more merch. I was having a good chat with Patricia Sturbys. She couldn't figure out which shirt she wanted the most. And I said, don't worry, you'll probably win another one anyway. So another chance for you to win any of our Unity merch here, a T-shirt or such is to jump on our Instagram account. Make sure you're a follower. That's how you are eligible to enter. And then share a post or a story of ours to your story and or share or create your own post and tag us in it. It'd be great if it's a post about your progress or yourself doing the workouts, um, progress for handstands or muscle ups or whatever you might be working on. Um, and yeah, tag us in that. And you can do that as many times as you like throughout the week and that will enter you into a draw at the end of the week to be drawn for more uh, Unity Gym merch. <sighs> oh yeah, Unify Movement System, motion is lotion, shut up and do some bloody burpees or just regular old Unity Gym. Got all sorts of merch coming at ya. We're coming out with a new Tribe Vibes uh, shirt and a couple of uh, cool um, word art shirts. I got 99 problems, but my splits ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> my frog pop uh, pumps aren't my one. Pump. Maybe we should put Max Silver on <laughs> on the oh, t-shirt. Oh, we might have to. We might have to do a Max Silver, a Max Silver t-shirt. <laughs> oh dude, I'll wear that to the pub. I've one got day. 99 problems. But my downward frog ain't one, or my frog pumps ain't one, and then Max Silver on the back across the shoulders. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Kaleem Ali. When's the last time you did a Max Silver? <laughs> oh, we could have a whole yeah. range of it. We could have Max <laughs> Silver and then in quotation marks under it, nothing sus. Nothing <laughs> sus, absolutely. <laughs> oh, Max, you're in the firing line now, buddy. This is how great apparel gets made. 
Lars Ride um, is saying, that would kill my inner knee. No exercise would kill your inner knee, Lars. Um, piss poor load management would kill your knee. So obviously you don't just try to dive into something that Rad's doing without building up to it over time. He's been doing Here this we go, for Trump. many, many Last years. Round. Load management suited to your current capability is absolutely essential. It doesn't matter what exercise you try to do, whether it's advanced stretching, training for a marathon, or lifting weights. It's <clears> all <throat> relevant. Kaleem Ali has said, my splits is definitely one of those 99 problems. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's just the opportunity to work on it. My, my splits are a bit of a problem too. Ah! Keep up <laughs> with those. Um, uh, protracting through the shoulder blades there, Tribe. You can see ah! Rad's hips and shoulders are at the same height throughout the exercise. Ah! And you know he's working hard because he's letting us all know about it. Ah. He certainly Ooh. is. Well, fuck they are really head. hard, those ones. Make sure you've jumped over and followed us on Instagram, Tribe. We should give them an Instagram link. You can't really do that, can you? You just got to search for at yeah. Unity Gym. So simple. Check out what happens down here behind the scenes when we're just goofing around. You will be, get to see classic moments like Will's ABBA dance. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love ABBA. <laughs> well, we've actually gone back in uh, subscribers since yesterday. Oh, whoops. We did cross over 46,600 subs over here, but we, uh, we dropped back to 46,595. What a twist. Tragedy. Into the next one, tribe. Here we go. <sighs> Retract as hard as you can here. Keep your elbows straight. Keeping those arms straight. Imagine you're trying to pull your hands down into your pockets, tribe. Retracting and depressing the shoulder ah. blades. Whew. Oh. Oh. This is tough. Great stuff. Um, for phase seven next week, uh, when are the tutorial videos up and Friday. running? Friday, excellent. Keep an eye out for that tribe. You'll definitely want those uh, tutorials for the next phase. Of course, Unity Gym tribe members, the tutorials will go straight into the Facebook group, right? Yep, of course. They'll be available for you to uh, study up on at least uh, Unity Gym Tribe, see if you can watch the Monday workout over the weekend, the tutorial. Mm.
Woo. This is the week for progress, everybody. Remember, deload week is where the magic happens. I hope you are planning a good deload week. I saw some ideas, some people posting in the Movement Mastermind group, their deloading strategies. Oh yeah, we're Bully, still. Bullying their partners at home into giving them a massage, having Epsom salts <laughs> baths, good high alkaline foods. Lots of, uh, lots of whole foods, lots of dietary protein, highly bioavailable dietary protein. Getting your supplement game in check, vitamin D, omega-3s, protein, creatine, magnesium. Wearing skins, it's another great method for recovery. Oh, yeah. All right. Of course, skins is, uh, by skins I mean compression wear. Compression wear. We were going to do another month of compression work, but it was either that or cardio. And we had four weeks without cardio, so we have to do it. Yeah, we can't be letting you guys off the hook that much. Nah. We're still gonna work some single leg strength. For those of you that have gotten better at a pistol squat, we're gonna do a shrimp squat. Ooh, shrimp squat. I see Patricia Sturvey says, chucked up a picture in the UMS Movement Mastermind group. Keeping up with the water themes of the tribe, I hear Willie P rock that boat. She's doing uh, one of our core exercises down by uh. the water. Looks great. Of our hollow body holds. Mm. If you've got any interesting pictures like that, please feel free to share. We love seeing that in the gym. Mm. I especially love seeing um, all our internationals post up in there. It's great to see how far the reach spreads. Vinnie Brown, if you're listening, I'm still waiting for that view from the lake that you're deloading at. Woo! He's got it there. Has he? Yeah. Yeah, he did a post. Oh, yeah. excellent! From the lake house. Where, where is he? Where's the, where's the, where's the lake that he's at? Oh yeah. And that just filters all of the posts that have that hashtag. There you go. I'm getting a little lesson. Looks beautiful. Ooh, how vacation. good is Will, are that? Will you considered a millennial? Is that? Are you at the age where you're a millennial? I don't know, I was born in 89. Is that a millennial? Can anyone tell me? I don't think it is, is Never. it? A millennial's when you're born in this. Yeah, I think he's a, uh, I think he's a generation gen next. Generation mm -hmm. next or generation Z. <laughs> one fun, of the, fun fact. One of the um, above. Falcons, the birds, the eagles. Falcons live for an average, actually I think a maximum lifespan of about 15 years which means that all falcons that are alive today are born after the year 2000, which means that all falcons alive are millennial falcons. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Vinny, that lake view, mate, with the steam, the mist coming off the lake, how good. Yeah. How good. I'm just looking through those pictures now. The pistol squats with the, uh, with the chairs and the pike push-ups. Yeah. Love it. When you do awesome. this stretch, guys, you really want to make sure that the elbow here is holding you on your knee, but your body is just dropping down. I'm letting gravity just drop down. That's what creates the stretch. Okay, and I'm very tight on this movement. Very tight. I've got the exact opposite of what I can do with my splits is here. There's people that are way more flexible than I am on this one. So don't be looking at me thinking, oh my God, look at that. This is, this is woeful, what I'm doing. Uh, reminiscing through the uh, 
the at home workouts and the daily grind hashtag. Come, I've come across Dave Clark's um, GIF uh, from The Matrix. Red is doing an at home workout and everyone runs to the, to the screen. <laughs> that was really good. I'm gonna have to share that one again. Max is saying yes, 89 is 100% millennial. It is millennial, is it? There you go. Millennial Falcon. I thought, uh, oh. I thought after I started saying it, I thought millennials were people born after the year 2000. So make, which makes them a millennial. Starting to feel a bit better today. You'll feel great just in time for the weekend. <laughs> the, the weekend, weekend. staying at home. Yeah. That's right, it's torture right now because the weather's been really nice. Yeah. I just watched on the news this morning they're deploying police to kids' parks. Are you kidding? To make sure that people are within their make sure that people aren't using the park equipment to play on. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's also, especially on the North there's Shore, like there's plenty of people not, like they're s sitting down, staying at the park, staying there for an hour. Yeah. It's like, come on guys. Apparently there's a lot of kids getting COVID this time around. 40 kids in, Victor in Melbourne under the age of nine have COVID. Oh wow. Nasty. I can tell you right now, as hard as you might think lockdown is, having kids is a whole nother challenge to it. And I'm hearing stories of people that have got teenagers that are talking about the challenge of that. So it's not just us that have you know, four-year-olds and five-year-olds and six-year-olds. Um, it's another, another level of complexity for this whole situation. It really is. I'll, I'll take it one further and say having young kids and living in an apartment <laughs> without a backyard. I mm. see all my mates with backyards and their kid, they just yeah. set up playgrounds in the yeah. day and I'm like, damn you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, living in the city, in the middle of the city, in a really nice apartment with a really nice harbour view is really good when you can go outside. When you can't go outside all of a sudden, <laughs> it's not worth paying that money for. Andy Lawson saying millennials are 1981 to 96, Gen Z's are 97 to 12, 2012, and Gen X is 65 to 80. Okay, then my original story would work. I've never met a millennial that is as retarded with technology as Will. As Will. <laughs> <laughs> never. I, I had to hold that. off I before I said that. <laughs> <'cause> I <laughs> that. Yeah, we thought when we were hiring a millennial. retarded <laughs> technology you've ever met. We, we, we hired Will thinking we were going to get a technology millennial Oh man, gifted. you lucked out there. Yeah, lucked out big time. I am not great. With technology. Tell you what, though, he'll find the most rare Pokemon fucking thing walking around the <laughs> well. street out of anyone you've ever met. That's that's a lifestyle. To be a master, you must uh, <laughs> yeah, dedicate Will, yourself. Will is a Will is a Pokemon master. One hundred percent. Gotta catch them this, all. Uh, this banter today has gone south, hasn't it, folks? <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of exercise talk going on here. It's delayed week, I guess. It all started with ready. Brad's dad jokes. When you do this stretch, what I'm doing here, I'll give you some training tips. Try and drag your body forward as much as you can. Like what I'm, I'm not just resting here. Using this leg, I'm pulling myself forward. And you can see I just move only an inch or two, but it creates traction in the hip joint. So it's like it's trying to pull the joint out of the socket. And that adds a whole nother dimension to the stretch, which is very different. 
than just being in this position. So the devil's in the detail, these little things. And then, you know, what I'm also doing is slightly rotating to different positions and changing the angle of where I feel the stretch. And it really makes a difference. Those little, little details really, you know, turn it up a lot. Boomer. Huh? It's like the boomer gen. The boomer gen. The baby boomers. When is a boomer? I want to see more at home workout hashtag posts in the Mover Mastermind tribe. Come on, let's light that place up. Vinny Brown is absolutely hammering it, dominating. It's a nice one there from the Gillespie tribe. But that's uh, mm. July 13. Come on, we can get another one in there. It's been a while since Max Silver's graced the pages. Dave Clark. It's been a while since we've seen Felix's cat. Margo. Come on. Haven't heard from a girl or his dog for a little while. Yep. You know, unfortunately, as much as we ham on about it, deload week is always a week where a lot of people end up taking off. And I will say this first. If you are gonna take a week off out of a four week period, then deload week is the week to do it. So I respect that. But much better is to keep the habit going and do the deloaded workout. And there's a, it's one of the many reasons why we make these workouts so much easier. Like you compare what we've been doing for the last three weeks. I mean, right now at this point, I feel like I could so easily do another half hour or hour of training. But that's the idea. You recharge, you get ready for those, um, you know, three weeks where you really go for it. And if you plan and strategize, that's when you really start seeing results. But the most mm -hmm. important thing is that you're still training the habit muscle. Yep. Mm. And you brushed over that, but that is so important, especially in lockdown. So many of our members have struggled to hit the start button again and crank that motor up. Yep. They've just lost motivation because yep. they lost access to the gym and the general routine was interrupted. Uh, don't interrupt your routine. If you've got some momentum, keep it going. Keep it going. Well, this is... um. We're almost coming out of the back end of winter in this uh, southern hemisphere now. And uh, over in the northern hemisphere, you're going to start going into winter. We both want momentum, you know. But we're like, human beings by nature are creatures of habit, where um, there's some good stuff you can read about habit, but, uh, you know, a, a, a great majority of what we do in a day is, is habit that controls it. And we're geared that way because thoughts require energy and they require time so you know our bodies our brains our nervous system is designed to learn habits so that we can put as much of what we can on a habit loop so that we can use our energy and our thoughts on creating things on reacting to things on you know whatever but the problem is that with with that comes when habits are broken and it's forced upon you it can really disrupt people's flow. So if we talk about good habits, I'm not talking about bad habits at all, like a good habit of coming to the gym, um, you know, there's a lot of people that will come to the gym every day at 5.30 a.m., five days a week, but then they'll go away on a work trip and they'll talk about how they didn't train once for two weeks mm. because they're out of their routine, they're out of their habit. Now, even at the best of times, be just because of that example, it is, it is really important to be able to uh, create the strength and discipline to be flexible. And even when something gets thrown at you, a curveball, you just have to plan, react, and, and go with it. And now more than ever, that is true. You know, we're living in this world where 
you know, what we, what we take for granted is just turned on its head in an instant, you know, and it's out of our control, our governments, our leaders, maybe even just your fear of getting sick or whatever it is, causes us to have to be flexible. And it's something that I've worked hard on for a long time because I think, I don't know exactly where I got it from, but definitely within the army it was a big part of it because in the army, man, everything that you take for granted just gets turned on its head in an instant. You, you get told in a moment that you know, you've got guard duty over the weekend or you have to go out bush for a week or whatever. But um, I've just learned to, when a scenario happens and through injuries as well, that as soon as something changes, I'll immediately spend anywhere from five minutes to an hour planning on what that means for the next two weeks or month. So where you get let down is when something changes and you do nothing to respond to it. You just go, oh, bugger. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, eight weeks have gone by and you haven't done any training. So it's really important to develop that um, ability to adapt to change, to just pivot. So, you know, all of a sudden you can't go to the gym. You can't afford to just say, oh, well, I'll, I'll just wait until the gym opens again. You can't afford that. Your health will really suffer. And I know that I've spoken to one or two of our highest achieving gym members that, that haven't found the motivation to do these at-home workouts this time when last year they were doing them really well. Um, and, you know, they've put on weight, they feel like they've lost, um, you know, a lot of the results that they got at the gym. And that's a, um, that's a sad thing because we work hard for these results. Mm. Um, and you do bounce back quicker than it took you to get the initial result. You're, that's, we have what's called muscle memory. But it's, it's really important to do. So this is a really good opportunity that if you find that you've fallen into that category of somebody that hasn't really found it within yourself to, to recreate this daily exercise habit at home, we're starting a new phase next, next week. It is a really good opportunity to recreate that habit. And it starts by diarizing what you're gonna do. Like plan when you're gonna do these things and, and put it in your diary. And it's just like work, it's, you know, I, I don't think there's many people that have a work start time that is just a, ah, I'll see how I feel in the morning. For most people, work is work and you've got to be there. And if you're not there, then you're gonna get fired. You've got to treat your training the same way, whether it's at the gym with your buddies or whether it's at home by yourself. And that's why we do these workouts every day at a certain time. We put a poll out with our gym members and this was the most popular time that people wanted. Um, but if you can't make this time, that's fine. But you have to, just like when you were at work um, and you came to the gym at lunchtime, you've got to put that time in your diary and you put your work down and you get up and do your, um, do your training. Mm. It's really important. Absolutely, yeah. Lars has written in and said, taking deload week off totally was the biggest mistake of my training life. Just losing that habit. Andy Lawson has said, uh, definitely keeping the habit muscle trained has been the, my biggest focus, especially when things were really hard here at the start of the year. Good work, Andy. Yeah, man. Look, it's, uh, it's uh, a tough thing to do, and I, I struggle at times as well. We all do, but it's just, it's just so important. And it's one of those things, it's one of those things that pays off. For me, personally, um, it's right up there in my top couple of priorities where when I look at, at the results that I've created from my body from, from doing what others won't, it's one of the proudest things that I've achieved along with this business and my family uh, and my close friends. Um, and then on the contrary, whenever I fall off the wagon, and for me falling off the wagon never lasts for more than a couple of weeks, but man, do I feel it emotionally and, and mentally. It's a really big hit for me. Um, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger said it really well, I think. He said, a good physique, uh, and of course he was talking about physique. What we do here is about performance, but a physique is a part of it. Um, but he said, a good physique shows a high work ethic like nothing else, because you can't buy it, you can't get it instantly, Mm. and you have to maintain it. You can't achieve it and then stop. Like even, even driving a nice car uh, or, or owning a nice home is a different symbol of hard work because you can achieve it and then stop and you'll still have it. 
but with a, a good physique shows that you have a work ethic that is consistent and dedicated. Um, and it's a very, you know, it's a consistently, it's a thing that will consistently energize you and make you feel empowered, you know, and good about yourself. And it's something to own as well. There's a lot, there's a stigma around having a good physique where, because very few people have them. Um, when you look at the whole population, you look at the small percentage of people that have a good physique. Um, you know, some people frown on it and say it's like a, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's, um, you know, like you're full of yourself, like you, you're uh, a bit arrogant, arrogant, you know, mm. arrogance or whatever. Um, but it it's depends on how you train. I certainly don't train for having a good physique. The good physique is the side effect of the training. But yeah, the whole rant that I've just said, the, the purpose of it is that the empowerment that you get for pushing through those tough times like now, like being in lockdown, when you come out of that and the motivation is there, but then you go, wow, look at what I've achieved with my body because I didn't fall off the wagon. It's so worth it. And I really hope that, um, you know, you guys can, if anybody's struggling with motivation but watching this, that, that you can regain some motivation and join in with me again on Monday for next phase. That's it, Tribe. All right, Tribe. Well done. Great workout, great effort. Nice chilled energy today. Make sure you remember all of the wicked links. I've even linked the uh, your exclusive invite to a 50% lifetime discount to the UMS Online Coaching. Remember, if you're doing all of these phases, it's highly worth considering. Uh, they're all included in the subscription and you also get access to our weekly group coaching and our private group coaching Facebook group, which is where the magic happens. That's where we can personalize and customize exercises and workouts for your needs. It is the most valuable part of the online coaching that you do not get in these workouts as we go live to produce something for everybody. Uh, and other than that, I think we will see you tomorrow. Absolutely. See you tomorrow, tribe. Health is about performance, not just body image. You better be willing to accept what you're going to have to do to get there. We'll start focusing on movement goals, strength goals, flexibility goals. When you nail that skill, it's there forever. The body image goal doesn't get you that far. It's the consistency and frequency that's going to get you there. It's not the intensity. There's no shortcuts to mastery and movement. Destination doesn't change overnight, but your direction will. The gym is not the place to beat up the body that you hate. It's the place to build the body that you love. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image.